Hello guys, welcome to Sin One Techie. My name is World Five Happy. Hi guys, um, I want to first and foremost thank you guys for all that you have said, all the questions you have sent, and of course all the reviews. I'm so happy I'm doing something very good. Now guys, um, today I'm going to teach you how to know when your phone is being hacked or how to know if your phone has been hacked already. Some of you might not know. I'm going to teach you how and what to do and um, things that you should avoid not downloading or not doing so your phone don't get hacked. We often see our smartphone as our digital haven. We use them to keep most of our precious personal information from pictures to credit card details. Some people even save their passwords in notes. If you think your smartphone is your private zone, then you're wrong. There is no device that can't be hacked. Here are three things you need to know. The ways your phone can be hacked, how to recognize them, and how to protect your phone from hackers. Okay. So this is actually a free Wi-Fi zone and um, it's quite exciting to want to do this, but let me quickly do something. I'll be right back. Let's start with the most important question. Ways your phone can be hacked via the free Wi-Fi spot at an airport or restaurant. With the means of public Wi-Fi, you share all the traffic with everyone around you. Think of it next time you want to check in into somewhere exotic. It is worth it waiting till you can reach a more reliable network. Also, when charging your phone with an unknown USB, even in the airplane or in the car, there is a risk that all your data will be revealed and transferred. Different smartphones have different security features. Not all of them share the same amount when connected to a PC, but it can give out your device name and type, the serial number, its manufacturer, operating file and system information, and electronic chip ID. That's a lot of info that can be used against you. SMS phishing. This happens when you receive a message with a link saying that it is, for example, your bank statement or a money transfer or a picture. So when you click on it and download the file, and then it reveals all your phone content to the hackers. Did I mention to you guys that a free Wi-Fi zone is one of the most dangerous places to get your phone hacked? Sometimes you are in a store, you go to exotic places, you go to nice hotels and you check in with free Wi-Fi, especially the airport. Sometimes um, we don't know this, but do you know you can also be tracked at the airport? But here's an advice. Whenever you're using free Wi-Fi, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to use them, but be careful where you use them. If you have a reliable network, you can do that. Then when you're doing transactions, please don't do that on free Wi-Fi, especially bank transactions, so you don't get your money whooped up one day, all right? How to recognize your phone has been hacked. Sometimes you find a new app on your phone and you did not install them yourself. Sometimes your phone manufacturers and service providers can actually install apps on your phone. To make sure these apps are legit, Google search them to see what other websites say about them. If you notice your phone battery's lifespan has become way too short, it must be for a reason. Some unknown apps running on the background of your phone may likely cause this to happen. When your phone gets warm. Your phone gets warm even when you're not making a call or receiving or even working on it. This could mean an unknown app is making your phone work so hard that it is warming up. When your phone reboots itself, switches off, or dials number or starts an application, you might like to believe a cell free booting, but if it is not a system breakdown, then your phone is being tapped. When your phone is sending and receiving strange messages, if you find strange text messages you actually didn't send, this might actually mean your phone is being hacked. This can also likely happen to your mail if you're operating it from your phone. Here is what you should do when you notice these signs on your phone. Try running a mobile anti-malware software. Delete all the apps you have not installed yourself. Exit all unreliable apps eating too much traffic. If it is possible, reset your phone to its original setting. If that doesn't seem enough, you can see a technician. In order to avoid your phone from being hacked, one of the things you need to do is also to delete the apps that you did not install. Maybe you just woke up and you found an app on your phone, delete them. And if all of this that I've said is not enough, please just go and see a technician because some of you might be like, my phone has been hacked, my phone has been hacked, all of those things. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been Sin One Techie. Please do follow us on all social media platforms, which is at Sin One TV. And please subscribe, subscribe, guys, subscribe. And also share this link with your friends and, of course, family. Thank you so much. My name still remains Walls Fight Papi. Till next time, bye, guys. Peace.